My name is Justin Donnelly and I am the Applications Specialist for Terex Washing Systems. I've been with the company now for 52 years and I installed and commissioned this plant in 2002. Today we are on site at Gregory Donnelly's quarry, Straban, County Tyrone. And if you look over my shoulder here, you'll see a Fines Master 120 bucket wheel. This is the first model which came off the assembly line in 2002. It is processing a combination of natural sand and pressure fines and is making a concrete sand for the customer's batching plant. Along with me today is Gregory Donnelly, who is the owner of the quarry, and he's going to talk to us today about his experiences of the, one, of the Fines Master 120 bucket wheel. How has the Fines Master 120 bucket wheel affected your business? Well, I believe from the point of view of, um, firstly, uh, it has saved us a lot of uh, sand going to the waste going to the farms, uh, probably somewhere in the approximately 30 40%, which left us more saleable product. Um, also, uh, I suppose the thing too with the, the watering screen being that uh, we can use the sand quicker uh, as opposed to having it sitting for a week or 10 days to dry from a normal the water. Uh, we can use it maybe in two days, three days to use for a ready mix business. What features do you most like about the Fines Master 120 bucket wheel? Well, I suppose the Fines Master, the main feature of it is the combination of, well, but, Two features, but I suppose it's one. It's the combination of the bucket wheel and the cyclone together. The cyclone uh, on its own, I don't think that they are as good a job as the bucket wheel maybe takes out, we believe, somewhere in the region of 70% of the stuff. And the bucket wheel obviously wouldn't be as good on its own uh, as the cyclone can save you a lot of stuff from going to the pond. So those two features, the bucket wheel and the cyclone combined together, is the is the main uh, attraction for for us well with regards to uh maintenance it's been very very minimal as i said we've had the machine in since 2000 and uh, late 2002 probably spent somewhere in the region of uh, 15,000 pound in maintenance and that is obviously not counting the wear parts of the mats for the screen but uh we only lined the millitex pump uh two years back uh, and we put a new set of bucket wheels on last year but they repaired them probably about eight years ago we spent maybe a couple of thousand pounds repairing them so all in all I would say maintenance wise we've probably spent maybe 15,000 pounds out of push which is nothing for the amount of uh, time the machine has been in and the amount of work that, that it's done. What tonnage would you estimate the machine has produced for you over the last 19 years? Well, I say it's a rough estimate, we are just working it out there mm -hmm. yesterday, and a rough estimate, possibly somewhere in the region of between two and a quarter and two and a half million tons. I just put three. I'd probably have the capacity a bit more than that three, but that's what it has done for us. And we're more than happy with the tonnage that it has done. Okay, Greggy, thank you for the opportunity to discuss the Fines Master with, with, the, with us today, and we wish you a lot more years of cure-free production. Right, not at all, you're welcome, Justin. Thanks thank very you. much.